all thanks and praise and glory to the all-wise, all-powerful, ever-present, gracious, merciful God. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Greetings to you, my fellow brothers and sisters, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, the human race. We say thank you for the feedbacks we got from listeners of Newstime Worldwide on Adure Radio globally. Thanks to the millennials and mature, the ones you call old school, listeners for their comments, intriguing questions, etc. Listeners in Washington, D.C., United States of America, Canada, London, England, Germany, Italy, Spain, Tunisia, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Kenya, South Africa, and Nigeria, just to name a few. We also want to urge Newstime Worldwide listeners, you are the fortunate ones with modern technology in your hands. The smartphones in your hands does all the work for you. Hence, let your fingers do the work by reading and studying the three holy books with your phones. The millennials are experts with smartphones. The mature, old school listeners can also have their children and or grandchildren show them how to use their smartphones to read the Torah, Bible, and Quran in various languages of the world. When you do that, your eyes will open wide instead of eyes wide shut. Per chance, you will learn something new that will make you go, hmm, with certainty. The topic for today is Mary, Jesus Christ, in Quran. Please, take a gracious, glorious, magnificent journey with us to the Holy Quran. For your information, there is a whole book, chapter, dedicated to Mary, mother of Jesus Christ, in the Holy Quran. Surah Maryam chapter of Mary Miriam in Arabic Mary in English get it? we hope now hear this from Quran in the chapter of Mary this is a mention of the mercy of your Lord God to his slave Zechariah when he Zechariah called out his Lord God a call in secret he, Zechariah, said, My Lord, indeed my bones have grown feeble, and gray hair has spread on my head, and I have never been unblessed in my invocation to you, O oh, my Lord God. And verily, I fear my relatives after me, and my wife is barren. So give me from yourself an heir who shall inherit me, and inherit also the posterity of Jacob, Israel. Get it? Inheritance of the religious knowledge and prophethood, not of wealth. You get it? <laughs> and make him, my Lord, one with whom you are well pleased. God said, O Zechariah, verily we give you the glad tidings, good news of a son whose name will be John Yahya in Arabic we have given that name to none before him he Zechariah said my Lord God how can I have a son when my wife is barren and I have reached the extreme old age he God said so it will be your Lord God says it is easy for me. Certainly I have created you before when you had been nothing. Zechariah said, My Lord God, appoint for me a sign. He, God said, Your sign is that you shall not speak to mankind, and not Muslims, to mankind, for three nights, though having no bodily defect. Then he, Zechariah, came out to his people, from a praying place 
or a private room and he told them by sign language to glorify almighty God's praises in the morning and in the afternoon it was said to his Zacharias son O John hold fast the scripture hear this <laughs> the Torah and we gave him John Yahya in Arabic wisdom while yet a child and made him sympathetic to men and women as a mercy grant from us and pure from sins that is John Yahya in Arabic and he was righteous and dutiful towards his parents and he was neither arrogant nor disobedient to God or to his John's parents and peace be on him the day he was born and the day he dies hear this and the day he will be raised up to life again <laughs> and mention in the book the Quran O Prophet Muhammad peace be upon you the story of Mary when she withdrew in seclusion from her family to a place facing east she placed a screen to screen herself from them then we sent to her hear this our angel Gabriel Jibril in Arabic and he angel Gabriel appeared before her Mary in the form of a man in all respects she Mary said verily I seek refuge with the most gracious God from you if you do fear God the angel Gabriel said I am only a messenger from your Lord God hear this uh, to announce to you the gift of a righteous son <laughs> she Mary said how can I have a son when no man has touched me nor am I unchaste he, Gabriel said, so it will be. Your Lord God said, that is easy for me, God. And we wish to appoint him, your son, hear this, as a sign to mankind. Mm, not to Jewish, Christian, Muslim. To mankind and a mercy from us, God. And it is a matter already decreed by God. So she she Mary conceived him and she withdrew from him withdrew with him to a place that is Bethlehem Valley about four to six miles from Jerusalem city of peace and the pains of childbirth drove her Mary to the trunk of a dead palm she Mary said would that I had died before this and had been forgotten and out of sight then the babe Jesus Isa in Arabic or Gabriel Jibril in Arabic cried to her from below her saying uh, grieve not your Lord God has provided a water stream under you and shake the trunk of the dead palm towards you it will let fall fresh ripe dates upon you so eat and drink and be glad and if you see any human being, say, mm, Verily, I have vowed a fast to the most gracious God, so I shall not speak to any human being this day. Then she, Mary, brought him, the baby, to her people. Carrying him, they said, Oh, Mary, Miriam in Arabic, Indeed, you have brought a thing, <laughs> a mighty thing. Oh, sister, that is the like of Aaron, Aruna in Arabic. Your father was not a man who used to commit adultery, nor your mother was an unchaste woman. Then she, Mary, pointed to him. They said, How can we talk to one who is a child in the cradle? Now hear this. He, Jesus, Isa in Arabic, said, Verily, I am a slave of God. He, God, has given me the scripture and made me a prophet. Anabi Isa in Arabic, Prophet Jesus in English. And he, God, 
has made me blessed wheresoever I be and has enjoined on me prayer, salat in Arabic, and charity, zakat in Arabic, as long as I live, and dutiful to my mother, and made me not arrogant, unblessed, and peace, salam in Arabic, be upon me the day I was born and the day I die. Watch this now. Mm. And the day I shall be raised alive. Oh my. This is too much. Allah Akbar. God is the greatest. Hear this now. And he, Anabi Isa, Jesus Christ, said, And verily, Almighty God is my Lord and your Lord. So worship him, Almighty God, alone. That is a straight path. Unquote. In the Quran. You can check it out yourself. There is so much to learn from the Quran that will make you go, hmm, with certainty. At News Time Worldwide, we dare to make a good difference. We are change makers for good and for history. Sacred truth is essential always. We must all defend the truth and defeat lies always. At News Time Worldwide, we are a solution to the problem. Leadership must always identify the problem and fix it. Islamophobia is a misconception without adequate knowledge of the facts. At News Time Worldwide, our preaching, speaking, and teaching is for the courageous, not for the faint-hearted, and for those who seek the truth with certainty. We pray, may Almighty God, Allah, Jehovah, give you a mind and a heart to comprehend, understand, and eyes to see manifestly, crystal clearly, and ears to hear. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. All over the world, we find that most faith leaders are pious but enlightened religious leaders due to a lack of knowledge of the three holy books. Always remember, beliefs without action is useless. It is not possible for the world to progress without a solution to its problems. And the solution is peace that brings security. The world has problems, not challenges. News Time Worldwide has solutions. Mankind needs to be constantly reminded about the great danger facing the world. Hence, prevention is better and cheaper than cure. Government and the private sector should join Newstime Worldwide and collaborate and embark on massive awareness campaigns and tell the people what to do to stop and also avoid insurgency worldwide. Newstime Worldwide has the understanding of the times to know what leadership and the people must do. A Newstime Worldwide is not of double purpose but stable and trustworthy with a perfect and sincere art to do good for the benefit of mankind with certainty. The ever-present fundamental question is, how could the world get to this level of killings and destructions of lives and properties? Religious leaders worldwide must not preach goodness to others, but consider themselves exempt from obeying the commandments or Torah, Sharia of Almighty God, Allah, Jehovah. That is an attitude which has brought disaster upon everyone who has taken it. Leadership is everything they have ever been, always was, and ever will be, unless they repent and seek Almighty God as a vital necessity and reverently fear God and do good deeds. Always remember, no man or woman can ever prevail against the prophet chosen by Almighty God. The Lord God is with you while you are with Him. If, condition, you seek Him, inquiring for and of Him, craving Him as your soul's first and vital necessity, mm, seek ye the kingdom of God first. <laughs> he will be found by you, but if, condition, you become indifferent and forsake him, he will forsake you. 
get this God is always with the good we urge you believe in God and you shall be established believe and remain steadfast to his prophets and help mm, not hinder help his prophets and you shall prosper despite all the Islamophobia white Christian vigilantes not Muslims have long been the foremost practitioners of terrorism in the United States of America but nobody ever asked them whether Christ made them to do it mm, knowledge hidden in plain sight but open to all who can take the time and trouble to look for it mankind suffers from willful ignorance the entire story of the United States of America is a story of progress we hope we all progressively solve the problem of terrorism and hatred in America and the entire world love your neighbor as you love yourself Jewish Christian Muslim white black brown colored the human race created by the Creator we all must worship the Creator not the creation in Nigeria it should not take the EFCC and all the CCs for any administration to do its job and crack down on theft what you call corruption and abuse of office it should take the reverent fear of Almighty God Allah Jehovah God uses mightily one whose whole heart craves a knowledge of him and his word in the three holy books the three holy books are the word of divine instruction combating religious crisis requires love and money big money love and peace more contagious than hate and violence this time worldwide will continue to spread the message of love and peace around the world with love and peace there is security upholding core values is what makes a nation great the victims of terrorism worldwide are those killed by avoidable and preventive death the defenses of weapon are defenses of clay and will crumble the tactics of weaponry are like ashes valueless unless accompanied by the word in the three holy books please we urge you to use your smartphones and read and study the three holy books you will be informed and empowered let your fingers do the working for you ISIL ISIS Boko Haram Al Qaeda a Fulani herdsmen etc are all satanic forces ungodly evil and wicked terrorism must be broken into pieces with the word in the three holy books the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the godless and defiled is bought for a moment at news time worldwide we will never ever corrupt the truth it is not the great rich powerful necessarily who are wise nor always the educated derelicts who understands justice God gives wisdom to whom he wills we speak for truth not for revenge rabbis pastors imams your lips must not speak on truth nor must your tongues utter deceit leadership opens their mouth and multiply words without knowledge drawing the worthless conclusion that the poor have no more advantage than the rich really leadership darkens counsel by words without knowledge bad leadership wicked in pride and arrogance hotly pursue and persecute the poor endlessly as a good and compassionate leader you must be blameless in conduct and in conversation as a leader your words matter greatly the massive education campaign that all religion is one is badly needed worldwide may almighty God bless the world with peace that brings security in Jesus Christ's name we pray amen and amen by the word of God where the heavens and earth and all their hosts made be and it was 
He spoke and it, it was done. He commanded and it stood fast and firm. No nation is saved by the size and power of its military. Only the word in the three holy books. Almighty God of truth and faithfulness. Leadership living in luxury behind their fortified walls cannot be protected by weapons except by good deeds. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Jewish, Christian, Muslim, white, black, brown, colored, the human race created by the creator. The lack of civility in American daily life in the recent past is shocking. If you only have the spiritual eyes to see, perchance you will seek the word in the three holy books. We at Newstime Worldwide have the will and courage to bring peace to the entire world through compassionate leadership. Newstime Worldwide, together with public and private partnership, will move faster with the message of peace all over the world than by walking alone. A fundamental question to mankind is, for how long will you love vanity and futility and seek after lies? Oh my. <laughs> for everything, evidence must not be lacking to establish the truth. Hence, news time worldwide present the truth with certainty in all the three holy books by chance mankind may reflect sinners killers terrorists suicide bombers white supremacists boko haram a fulani headsman isis isil al qaeda al shabab etc cannot live in heaven they will be out of their elements sooner could a fish live upon a tree than the satanic wicked ones in paradise the only way they will ever be able to endure heaven is to be born again and become new creatures with pure hearts able fully to enjoy the presence of almighty god allah jehovah his angels and the redeemed the people all over the world are troubled and terrified at the thought of terrorism. They are in dread and are afraid. But we in New Time Worldwide say, Fear not, nor grieve. Verily, Almighty God, Allah Jehovah, is with the righteous always. The eyes of terrorists flash with anger, hatred, contempt, and lack of knowledge. In all the three holy books, the Creator gave the Torah, commandment, Sharia, Thou shalt not kill, period. But evil doers drink iniquity like drinking water. To him or her who is about to faint and despair, kindness is due from his or her family, friends and neighbors. <laughs> Jewish, Christian, Muslim, white, black, brown, colored, the human race created by the Creator. Hear this. Now let us make this manifest crystal clear. The savings we are always talking about in all our preaching, speaking, and teaching engagements at news time worldwide is for the poor amongst us, not for the rich. The rich should use part of their wealth blessings to help the poor not for the rich to hide their wealth has oh no spend to help the poor in your midst and sleep with your two eyes closed mm. behold as surely as god will never ever uphold wrongdoers god will never ever cast away a blameless man or woman God will yet fill your mouth with laughter and your lips with joyful shouting. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. Those who hate you will be clothed with shame and the house of the wicked, satanic ones, shall be no more. If, condition, anyone ever hardened himself or herself against God, the person never prospered 
or even be safe. God is always with the ones who seek Him first and also do righteous good deeds. A practicing Muslim must not be equated with militant Islamic extremism, just like a Christian must not be equated with Christian fundamentalists. The people of Africa in general, and Nigeria in particular, are stealing from one another. Indeed, the leadership have been foremost in this wicked satanic act and in direct violation of the will and purpose of God. Love thy neighbor as you love yourself. <clears throat> now hear this. Hear us. Uh, their tongues devises wickedness. It is like a sharp razor, walking deceitfully. They love evil more than good. Leadership in most nations have ceased to be wise and to do good. The people of Africa in general, Nigeria in particular, must have a heart and mind to work. Mm. Work, work, work. Not just prayer and fasting alone and going to prayer houses for miracles. For each of your family member and friends who live abroad and send you dollars or pounds or euros, they are all working. Mm. Hence, they can afford the charity. Please, we urge you, walk and save and prosper. Mm -hmm. Good and compassionate leadership all over the world must move the people from poverty to prosperity. Leadership has been standing by, aiding and abating the problems, while there is a perfectly effective solution that stands ready to solve it. News time worldwide. <laughs> Only but if. Mm. We must all help to repair and restore the world which bad leadership had destroyed by neglect. We must all roll up our sleeves with joy and do the work uh, faithfully. In closing, once again, thanks for taking the time and trouble to listen to News Time Worldwide. Please join us next week for another fascinating topic that will leave you <laughs> scratching your head. May peace and blessings be upon you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatu Allah. Shalom. God bless you all. Thank you for listening.